you cooking up? All right, so, you know, in honor of being such a big fat girl, Jeff, let's do some, <laughs> some big fat meat, right? Yeah, right. meat. <laughs> so uh, I have a pork porterhouse. I have, you know, like, it's a, it's a nice, beautiful, thick cut of- Isn't that of, gorgeous? Yes. Oh. It's usually a beef porterhouse that we do. We're gonna brine these babies, so I Always have... be brining, one of my favorite sayings. <laughs> Everything be tastes brining. better brined. Right, especially pork. I mean, yeah. you know, these days it's bred to be so lean, even, um, you know, the other, like, you know, the other heritage, white meat thing. The, yeah. Right, any heritage breeds and, and that kind of stuff. So we have rosemary, we have some garlic cloves, salt, sugar. I like to do these guys overnight, so they really, I mean, and you can go crazy with brines, whatever kind of flavors you want in there. But that's basically it, salt and sugar and whatever flavor. What other flavor right. you want to go in there. So I leave them in there overnight and we'll say, all right, see you later. See you later. See you tomorrow. <laughs> right, and so then, um, we have these guys that have come out and it's like they've really absorbed all of this salty deliciousness and like some garlic rosemary and we're like, oh, keeps the pork really super nice and moist. So then we're just gonna earl it up a little bit. So we're just gonna lay these guys on the grill um, and get some beautiful grill marks on them all over the place, like um, really, Brown food everywhere tastes good. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna take it to about 140, 145 degrees. And then we're gonna let our big fat meat rest. And so then we're just gonna do a little sort of um, sauce chutney for this. I've got some delicious bacon and onions going on here, clearly some salt. And then um, we build a little sauce on top of this with some apples. Thank you. Chuck yes, them in so there, babe. Chuck them in there, babe. Right, apples and some prunes. If you don't have like prunes or dried figs work really well. Yeah, dried fruits, yum. Um, and then we just uh, add a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of saba, which is basically like really reduced grape juice. It's like balsamic vinegar, but without the vinegar part. So it's, it's like, like grape syrup. Syrupy, grapey deliciousness. And then we just cook it till we have this, you know, so then we have Sweet, we have the chewy dried prunes in there. We have a little rosemary happening. We have a little bright sourness. Okay, those are so, gorgeous. So once we, we get them really brown on all the sides, like brown food tastes good, back and forth a few times, we pop these guys in a pretty hot oven. Let me see if they got some in there for you. You said we got them. No, like, we got them here. Oh, you've already got them there. Look, well, it's the magic of TV. Um, Ta-da! Right, here we go. So we're just letting them rest. Um, to let the juices like redistribute and let uh, like let all that deliciousness happen. I'm gonna slide and then, this down, Ann, so you got it. Right. Focus. So then we have our our super yummy chutney sauce. You know, like our our apple and and prune with a little rosemary and bacon in there. So these guys, let's just cut right off these big fat bones and slice them up. And then yeah, look at that, beautifully mm. pink and juicy in the middle. Yeah. Again. Slice it up beautiful. There we go.